What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about expressions and we are talking about uh, the length expression in the collections area. So what is length? Length is the ability to pass in a collection and then return back the length of that collection. So in terms of a string, it will return the number of characters in that string. If it's an array, it'll return back the number of results in that array. So let's take a look at it. I'm here in my Power Automate. Uh, I've got a manual trigger flow here with a single text input, and I've got a compose action. So if I click into compose, I go over to expressions, and we're going to choose this length one in the collection. So the only input we're expecting here is a collection, and it will turn back the number of elements in an array or a string, so the number of characters in a string. So we'll click on length, and then we'll switch over to dynamic content, and we'll put in our input. So this is the input that I'm collecting in the manual trigger flow here. Once we're happy with it, we'll click OK, and then we will click test. So I'll perform the action and we will put in hi. Nice to meet you. So this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty if my math is correct, and we'll see if it is. So we'll run it, we'll click done, we'll open it up. 20, hey look, my math is great, I can count and everything, and so can this uh, So can this expression. So that's really cool. So if you put in a string, it will return the number of characters in that string. But what about an array? Let's switch over to our array flow. So over here, we've got uh, an array flow here. Um, we It's a manual trigger flow, and then we are initializing a variable. The variable is an array. Um, I've covered this in a previous video, so if you want to learn all about arrays and initializing variables, go check that video out. Uh, we've just got two results in this array. Uh, we've got first person called Dean Herb um, from Contoso, that's his email address. And then we have someone called Keith Taylor uh, from Taylor from Acme.com, and that's his email address. So let's take a look at this. So we click into the Compose action, we go to the expression, we're going to go down to uh, length. Again, and then we are going to put in the variable that we are initializing in this previous step, and we're going to see how big this array is. So we'll click OK, and it'll go into the compose action. We'll choose test. I'll perform the test, save and run, run the flow, uh, click done. And then we can see this got an output of two. So it says output of two because there are two values in this array. So it's not each individual line, it's each bit inside of these brackets. So it's each object inside of this array. So we've only got two in here and therefore the output is two. So this is really handy because you can see how long characters are. You could do validation checks to make sure that um, the number of characters that are trying to go into a field, um, it can't go into a field and maybe send a warning to a user. So if you're integrating this with another system and someone puts in a, a first name, which is say like 250 characters because maybe their cat was lying on a keyboard and they input it incorrectly, maybe you know that that's going to cause an error with your flow and you may want to set up a warning to say if it exceeds this amount of characters you want to then um, notify users so they can go do a manual input. Similarly with an array, it, maybe you want to count the number of objects in an array. If it exceeds a certain amount or if it's under a certain amount, you may want to do certain actions based on that. So I think it's really handy. But I always want to know what you guys use these things for. So let me know in the comments down below. If you can like and share this video with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.